Dale Barger of Golf View Live Rock has been the bare bones to the adventures and learning in our classroom. With one phone call, Dale has turned our marine science classroom into an exciting tool for exploration and investigation. Dale went to the Bahamas over two decades ago where he brought back thousands of pounds of rock called Bahama Honeycomb Rock, where it has since been growing new life at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. In groups, students get to set up and maintain their own aquariums. At this point, all they know is that they are having fun taking care of aquariums. Little do they know they are setting up their very own living laboratory for the rest of the school year. Students test the waters and record and graph data of chemicals in the water. Here, they get first-hand knowledge of the nitrogen cycle. That's all well and good, but now the fun starts. We start examining the rock we have, colors of orange, red, pink, and yellow, and fuzzy things, things that wave tentacles and long, thin legs sticking out and strange puffs of smoke shooting from rocks. Within a month, we are examining various types of sponges. We take samples from the sponge and test it with vinegar and bleach to determine if it has a silicone or calcium skeleton. We can inject sponges with a small amount of milk or dye to watch the filtering action of the sponges. Now keep in mind, all we knew is that a man gave us some rock. We're starting to understand the meaning of live rock. Our tanks become the focus of all echinoderms. Watching a sand dollar bury itself or a starfish flip itself over with tube feet makes a lot more sense than the flat pages of our books. Because our tanks don't have expensive filtration systems, you'd think we'd be overrun with nasty algae. Instead, this is when our rock turns itself into a whole new form. We test for low dissolved oxygen or high nitrates, but we don't have any. Instead, the sponges grow larger while filtering the water, and large macro algae start to flourish from seemingly nowhere. Now these are things we can see. Get out the microscope and suddenly your tanks have gone through an alien invasion. These guys are what makes everything else work right. Copepods, unknown larvae, nematodes, medusa, and lots of things we can't identify. But so what? Part of the fun is fighting these guys and figuring out what they are. This is a snail still in its egg. And this is a sack with several eggs. And this snail is spawning. Since 2008 is the International Year of the Reef, we are dedicating a 55-gallon tank to the Gulf of Mexico and the sum of the corals and light that exists out there. Yes, even the Gulf of Mexico has corals. The ones we have came on Dale's Rock, and we hope everyone who has seen this has a new appreciation as to one reason we need to take care of our waters. Thanks, Gulf View, and thank you, Dale.